Hey everyone, how's it going? JD Strategic here. I hope everyone's doing great today. Quick video just talking about the US national debt. We've seen crazy spending in the last couple of years. We've seen a lot of printing of money. So let's just talk about the debt levels and how that's gonna affect everyone. And I think it's important with this graphic to also include the GDP ratio. So what we're actually spending, because overall it, the debt limit doesn't matter as much if the GDP limit's still more and we're spending a lot more. Um, but overall, as you can see, that trend has not been going in our favor. The debt has been increasing on a pretty crazy basis and the debt to GDP ratio has been increasing with it. So we've kind of seen a crazy increase from 2008 to 2017. The debt ratio literally doubled from 10 trillion to 20 trillion. And then just from the last couple of years, you saw that 20 trillion go number, which just recently hit $30 trillion as of February, 2022. So this is pretty crazy. Um, these are very high numbers. So what does this necessarily mean for everyone? This means that the higher this number is, the higher that this debt to GDP ratio goes, the less likely the US will be able to actually make payments on these debts. So it means the US might be more likely to default on some of these payments. So this creates a lot of insecurity on buyers. People are kind of more afraid to um, borrow money. So this affects everyone. Um, the US has been very fortunate to be the reserve currency. So if you don't know what this means, this means that the US has the luxury of being able to borrow money in other countries using the own, our own currency, the US dollar. So this severely lowers costs. Other countries rely on the US dollar as their debt system as well for the most part. So this is a very, very great luxury for the US to have. But as we see this debt to GDP ratio increase, it kind of lowers our ability to be the reserve currency and it allows other countries to become more competitive. So one book that I read recently is Ray Dalio's Changing World Order. And this really addresses this theme about how the US has grown significantly. We were able to secure the, US, the reserve currency, which is a huge accomplishment. But now we've kind of seen the decrease of the US dollar with all these spending habits, um, the debt limit severely increasing while we see other countries like China that are very focused on lowering their debt and increasing their spending and investing in their future while we're not investing in our future as much. So this is a, having the reserve currency is such a luxury to have and it's something we shouldn't be taking for granted because it would really cause a whole global disruption um, if the US wasn't able to pay these debt systems back. So this is really important to talk about and as we see other countries kind of become more competitive as the U.S. becomes less competitive, this really is something that's going to affect us. And we've kind of seen higher taxes take place. So this is something that we need to do in order to reduce the spending. So this means that we're not investing in our future as much. You can see the graphics like all the transportation systems, um, communication systems and investing in our military is something that's really important, too, because if I, we have the strongest military. Um, but as, if we're not able to invest in our military as much and other countries are able to invest in their military, things start to balance out more. So this all kind of um, matters in a kind of global scheme of things as you look at things. And overall, you can see prices have been increasing. So inflation is going up as a result of all this. Everyone's 401k is going down. Stocks have been going down. So this is how everything affects us. And what's important for you that be doing, how you can be actionable with this. I've already talked about it and it's about continuing to pay off your debt, continuing to build that emergency fund and continuing to pay yourself first. So these are all themes that we've talked about and they kind of continue along the path. No matter what the market looks like, you want to continue to do these three things um, and always be investing in your future. So quick brief video that I want to talk about the U.S. national debt, but thank you everyone for tuning in. JD Strategic out.